Well, I feel just very privileged in my role and all the roles that I've had within hospice care that I can give time. Time is just a, a wonderful thing to be able to give, not to feel rushed or not to make the person that you're talking to um, feel rushed. So I can have time to talk to patients, I can have time to listen to patients and families, um, I can utilise all the communication skills that I um, have learnt um, to help some families and patients through some very difficult conversations. Um, but just the beauty of having time to be able to do that and not to feel that you need to move on to the next thing. I also feel that hospice care where I work um, has been um, amazing for me. I've actually worked there for 26 years um, and I have had various roles throughout that. So for my career, I have managed to um, work in a variety of nursing settings within hospice care, um, but also had a bit of career progression as well. Um, and now I find myself in a role that I can utilize all the experience that I've had over those few years. Um, I'm in a, an, a a quality um, lead role at the moment and I can share a lot of my expertise and experience within that role so I just feel very grateful and proud to be working for hospice care. I think one of the wow factors for me within my work is with working with colleagues who have the same values and beliefs as myself. We work with such a wonderful team and you need teamwork to be able to do the work we do. So we've got a fully committed team, we're very open with each other, um, we talk about things an awful lot and it's just a privilege to be in such a team. Another wow factor for me is the fact that any decision within hospice care, whether it is down on the ward, at the bedside, or up in the boardroom with um, high level strategic um, decisions that it always comes back to what the patients and families experience and what the outcomes for them will be. Um, it reflects back to core values of hospice care um, which are quoted in, in most strategic and, and meetings that actually whatever our decision it's always based back to what the patients and families would experience. What makes a hospice care nurse or, or someone who wants to work in hospice? I think compassion is, is key. Um, you need to have compassion. You are dealing with very difficult situations that is unique to the person that you're supporting. It's unique to them at that time. Um, to give your full attention and compassion is something that they will 100% pick up on. Know that you are giving them your full attention and support. Um, commitment as well, I think to be committed to, to continually be, uh, produce a high level of um, care and standards of care. We are the expert practitioners in our field um, and, and we should be practicing that on a daily basis. I think also to be a hospice care nurse, communication skills are um, used every day. Um, we, pro we provide education and training for our staff um, to, to speak at that high level of communication skills that's required, overcoming various barriers that our patients and families have, whether that's physical barriers um, or sensory barriers. Um, and it's just essential that we develop and practice those skills because we are doing it on a daily basis.